We've been reporting to you on PFAS, those long-lasting chemicals linked to harmful health effects. They're in almost all our bodies, and they're in three quarters of Pennsylvania's streams and rivers. Ireland Viscount is here with what kinds of products contain PFAS, Ireland. Alicia, as I look further into the man-made chemical, I'm finding it in a lot more products than you might think. I was a little surprised by the degree to which they were being used in um, water resistant material. I go out camping a lot and I like to think I'm a very savvy field person, um, but uh, even a lot of like the tenting material that I've used, like when I do some investigation, I find, oh yeah, this is full of PFAS. So I've been, you know, sleeping amongst it uh, every time I go camping. We know it's in firefighting foam, food packaging, plastics, waterproof clothing, and nonstick pans. In cookware, it's a little less surprising. According to Toxic Free Future, it's also in products such as stain proofing for furniture and carpets, cleaners, building materials, cosmetics, personal care items like shampoo, dental floss, and nail polish. The list goes on. So what can you do to limit your exposure? So making sure that like household chemicals are kept in a specific location so you don't have contamination. Additionally, um, just doing some more investigation on what might be in um, some of your objects through your house that might have that. Vacuuming, dusting, and using an air purifier can also help. Uh, one of the things that I would say to make people feel better is that regulation is coming. Our understanding of it is coming. Testing is increasing. So we're having a better idea about it. There's not really a reason to panic or worry until we have a much broader idea of where the problems are. So um, when we figure out those problems, then we can start to address things. In late September, the United States Environmental Protection Agency finalized its reporting and record keeping requirements for PFAS under the Toxic Substances Control Act. It requires any company that manufactures or has manufactured anything with traces of PFAS before January 1st of 2011 must submit that information to the agency. Live in the studio, Ireland Viscount, ABC 27 News. Scary info there, Ireland. Thanks very much. We know you'll stay on it.